Yeah, we're going to headquarters. I need to do some stuff. Okay, first, let's go to the war cemetery. Hello. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well. Heck yeah. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Okay, anyway. Welkin Fro! Let's see what we got. Mm, no. Yes? Please. Oh. Oh, yes. Here you go, bro. All done. Just upgrade everything. Oh, even the grenades. Yes. Here you no, not the armor, though. And also, still not helping the scouts at all. Mortar upgrade. Oh, increased payload. Nice. Drive system, radiator upgrade, um, curtains, curtains. All right. Need this. Um. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave for a minute because I want to go see what's at Castle Front Street. Hey, dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good man. I don't oh, know. and how about the new rising star of Squad Seven, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop in or. Ah, here we go. Lucky Seven's cut off supply base. The Militia's 3rd Regiment, partner in our ongoing war correspondence, was successful in seizing the Empire Supply Base in Cloden Wildwood, despite interference from Empire Ace General Raddy Jaeger. This new victory, coming on the heels of their vassal win last month that pushed the invasion back to Central Gallia, has all of Rangri singing their praises. Losing the Colden Base was no doubt a severe blow to the Imperial Force looking to regain some of the lost ground. Which is good news to Gallians everywhere. It's anyone's guess where the militia will crop up next, but their efforts to make so far make one thing clear. These men and women mean business. Yay. Militia issues draft notices. The, Gallian, the government issued a second wave of drafts among Gallians for the militia of the 8th. On the 8th, expected since the Empire's formal declaration of war last month. This draft was likely made inevitable by the recent series of losses in the east and north. The draft will target males aged 30 to 45, selected based upon qualifications and their impact upon Gallia's normal function. The militia is also accepting volunteers from those not included in the second draft, but many worry about the economic strain that further losses to the commerce and industry sector may impose. Da 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 da! I've got new material! Excellent! A taste of home. A piece on Welkin and Alicia. <laughs> Thanks a million! Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you. Um. Welkin fro. Oh my God, just, just. I need more tank upgrades. No, God, wrong thing. Oh, that's that's what this is. All right. Um, I want this. I do not like getting critted. Here you go. Bro. Oh, I can't rotate this. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I can't afford this quite. 
That's okay. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. All right, this is where we're interested. Welcome. Train up. Yeah, we know you've got all day. All right. Step one. Snipers are awesome, and we need them. Two. Same goes for these guys. Three. We're out of XP. So yeah. Come back anytime. Oh shit! I I didn't do the thing. Oh, I'm a fool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Fight the bullet. Good work, Mac. Okay, you burn clear for hey. new order. Put it to good use out there. You learned attack boost. This order raises one ally's anti-personnel attack power. You learned aim boost. This order raises one ally's accuracy. Nice. Um Come back it Oh crap, I forgot to check the personnel tab. A new report has been added. The per oh god, it's doing things. Uh Mika. Warrior and perfectionist, he lets even minor details get to him, making him tiresome. Company, tiresome company, but a skilled mechanist. His excessive, almost obsessive fussing over the mechanics is worked on. He worked on led to malfunction more often than not, getting him fired from more than one position. I'm going to have problems because I keep reading these off. Oh god, I'm gonna like. I'm not sure what to do. Because I can't, I can't change now. Oh god, I, I was planning to like put these in videos, but things are different. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what is it? Reports? It's not. Oh, uh, tap select. What, what's what's reports? Where are reports? How do I get reports? I don't know how I get reports. Hello, Welkin. Oh, and there have been some new. All right, who's new? Ah, hey, what do we got? Carl and Claudia. City can shut in. It's not very helpful. That having been said, uh, desert allergy. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ah, ah ha ha. And I can't get rid of her. A nice work out there so far. No, no, I'm not going to. Anyway. I'm not quite sure why I felt the need to do that. Because. Middle head, maintenance lazy, fatalist. My way. Meadow bread, pessimist, country bread. Metal allergy, claustrophobic, De desert algae. Oh, that's going to be annoying. It's going to be very annoying. Oh. Oh, metal head. Jam jinxed? I enjoyed no, my no, time. get back here. I actually want you in the unit. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, no, no, you're. Hello, I'm Mika. I know who you are, you idiot. No, no. Man. No. But where's... Where, where is... Born under unluck, an unlucky star, they are especially susceptible to weapon jam. Wow, that's bad. Come back any... I'm not sure how to review reports. Why has this happened?
Oh, I see. It's the new people. Carl. Squad 7 Engineer, age 23. He worked at a Fors and Ironworks until the incursion into Imperial Darks and... Incursion of Imperial Darks and Hunters drove him to evacuate to the capital. You know, I think what we're gonna just do is leave this in the way it is. I was planning to, like, cut these off into another video and, like, post it at the end, but... Uh, probably easiest if I just do it this way. Squad 7 Engineer, her life as a homebody ended with a stray tank shell demolished her house. She now fights to win back that peaceful existence. Alright. How do I get... Was it glossary? No. Oh! Report. Alert embedded. Jeez, okay! Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. Yay. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. He really is. And her. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> But if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. Jeez. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right. The tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now well, that's strange. She looks darksome to me. I wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? I could. It tells me these guys are different I just don't than the usual it. troops somehow. Hm. Yeah, they're player characters. Like keen journalistic instincts. Hm. What the? Well then. <laughs> <laughs> the truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. Damn it. Largo and Rosie. There's Sergeant Potter, and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys! Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What, like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? I don't know, maybe because you're actually really interesting characters? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. See, she gets it. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see. And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Oh, no, oh, no. Hey, Largo, wait up. That doesn't sound very enthusiastic. Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. Jesus. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... What? Thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others. 
ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Mm. Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about them is all. <sighs> you can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. <laughs> Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Sean Toos? They may be cranky, but they're characters. Yep. New episode has been added. Asara. Hey. Salad. How are you? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. I thought it was really scary. Don't do that. We're staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? Birds. I love birds. I'd like to fly. Oh. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. <laughs> Not even going to. I don't. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? Yeah, please do. You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. <laughs> oh, so far, Miss Ella is my absolute favorite character just for all the puns. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. How about very strange oftentimes? I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. Yeah, I I'm with you, Alec. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. I mean, she sounds like a robot. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. What is with people wanting to get high all around here? I'm Thanks kidding. for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. We're not even gonna make those jokes. It'd be not really that interesting. Welcome, in Alicia. Hey. Hello, hello. Are you ready for your big interview? No, go away. No one's home. Hello, Miss Ellett. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Yeah. Get out. Oh, Alicia. I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Hey. How convenient. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? Probably not. I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. You've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. He's right here, you know. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. Unfortunately. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think <laughs> of him as a guy? <laughs> Jesus, Ellen! What? I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. Does she just have a fluster button? She just presses. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? I... Lieutenant, where'd he go? Away. Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy looking bug. I got distracted. From anyone else, I'd say that sounds like bullshit, but from him, I'd say he is bullshit. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. 
No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the first European war? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. It's incredibly stupid. Uh -huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Uh, thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Yeah, I didn't expect him to start philosophy. I, I give up on talking today. Fo talking huh. philosophically, he really Jesus. Hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. Philosophy. Ph ah! I quit. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Are we gonna get to play her in a mission? I'd like that. We're not. I don't remember ever playing her. Um... Report. A taste of home. Okay. View this episode. And done. That takes care of the report. Hmm? Who's there? It's me. No! No! That is not me! Because I am me, and you are a pig that I don't like. Did you come here all by yourself? Boy, you sure are smart. Ah! Hey! Stop tugging, Hans. What's up? Is there something this way? Oh shit, Alicia's caught in the map geometry. We gotta go help her. Okay, okay, I get it. Lead the way. And you can stop biting my boots already. It's a room. You went and got Welkin for me? Nice going, Hans. Thanks. Ah, and here I was hoping we'd start playing some sort of point and click adventure. I just got led around base by a pig. Any idea what he wants with me, Alicia? Hopefully to play a point-and-click adventure. Oh no, I was the one who wanted to see you. Are you hungry, Walken? Um, no. Hungry? Well, yeah, actually. I just ate lunch. Really? Oh, good. I whipped a little something up for you. Come see. What? Back in the kitchen? Whoa. What? You're not in the kitchen! Wow! I've never seen so much bread in one place! I'm sure you, you have. all this yourself, Alicia? Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I made anything. I was worried I might be getting a bit rusty. But the oven was free, so I helped myself. It smells great. It okay. looks very, very anime. I know of no bread that looks like that. Oh god, he's choking! Welcome. You okay? No! Do the delicious! Do the, oh. Really? Yeah. I've never eaten bread this good. It's really impressive. Um. Um. You know, I'll give him credit. Their biting um. animations aren't that bad. Welkin, 
You look like a chipmunk. He really doesn't. I don't see any difference. You know how chipmunks and hamsters stuff their little cheeks full of food like that? I finally understand why. Uh, because they they want to transport it. Oh. I'm so full. That was great, huh, Hans? I can't believe you put it all away. It was a little scary watching you two eat. Still, I'm glad you liked it. It feels good to see people enjoying my bread. Why didn't you have some? It felt good eating it. Thanks for baking it all. You're welcome. Oh, welcome. Uh, you have some... There's just a little crumb. There we go. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you said you worked at a bakery before the war started? Wait, how long were they eating for? Yeah. I was a live-in apprentice under the Meister running the shop. Because, like, it would take a while. I don't think you could eat that much bread, for one thing. Like, bread is fairly thick. I mean, even if it was fairly light bread, I don't think you could stuff that much into your stomach, even half of that. And then, and then... <sighs> even so, that should take a while. Once things settle down, I plan on taking the national exams and opening up my own bakery. Wow. You need to be licensed to run a bakery? That sounds pretty tough. It's been my dream since I was a little girl. It's what I enjoy doing the most. Are, are we not going to get any explanation for the licensing thing? I love imagining entire families eating the bread I make together. Oh. This is this is the kind of moment that makes me wish I was a better artist cuz now I want a picture of like Alicia just kind of sliding into a picture with a family eating going, "Hey, eat this bread." <laughs> and 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 then giggling like that while while they're eating it. A loving husband, maybe, and cute little kids waiting for their mom to get home. She comes in with a big basket of my bread, and the kids all cheer and embrace her. Okay. Oh, and what if my bread brings the husband and wife closer together? I, uh, I think you might be pushing things a bit far there, Alicia. She could say, oh, honey, you have a crumb in your beard, and then she'd... <laughs> um. Listen to me. <laughs> That's just like what happened here a minute ago, Welkin. But I am. Um... Jeez, that is some clumsy flirting. Holy crap! Are, are you all right, Alicia? I, I don't know why you thought it would land on him. Huh? I, I'm fine. Anyway, I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. I swear I can make a joke out of that. Come on. You know, I'm not. It's a deal. And thanks again. <sighs> I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. Oh, what can I say about that? Never mind. We got a personnel tab to update, and then, um. Alright, Hans. Uh, the small for a Porkavian, he boasts impressive agility and jumping ability. He also appears to be intelligent enough to understand human words and emotions. Uh, this is like bullshit to me, but whatever. Yeah, it's it's been two hours. Um, I'm gonna save. What time is it? Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits for today. Got two hours in, did the skirmishes, did the reading, did the reports, did the mission, do the next mission, maybe the mission after that next time. Um, precluding any more random stuff popping up. Um, yeah, I might do some skirmishes in between just to get some more XP. I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to need to. Um, but but if the guys are suddenly a bit more effective afterwards, that's why. Anyway, see ya.
need to make a joke. Uh, if you keep eating it, I'll keep baking it. How would you make a joke about that? <laughs> <laughs>